All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, the ones to apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to elect, which we hope to be. You know what I'm saying? And uh, this is Brother Hawaii, you know? This is Brother Ramakia. And uh, pretty much, we just going into uh, a few scriptures where, you know, you can't let your sins wear you down, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to continue to fight, man. You know, uh, the brother, uh, his uh, channel is uh, GMS Rebuke the Tempter. I don't know his name. Uh, I think it's, uh, I want to say you call uh, or something like that. But uh, the thing is, is that uh, uh, he he did a sit down on having spiritual highs and spiritual lows. You know what I'm saying? But when you're in them spiritual lows, you know, you got to keep going. You know, the scripture says that a just man follows seven times, but he get it back up again, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't stop once you fall, you know. And I'm going to start off with uh, this uh <clears throat> This uh first Samuel chapter 12, verse 20. It says, uh, actually, I started verse 19. It says, And all the people said unto Samuel, Pray for thy servants unto Yahweh, thy power, that we die not, for we have added unto all our sins this evil to ask us a king. You know, verse 20, it says, And Samuel said unto the people, Fear not, ye have done all this wickedness, yet turn not aside from following the Lord. But serve Yahweh by Shem Yahshua with all your heart. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, even though you, we did all this wickedness and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <clears throat> the thing is, is that we got to keep pushing forward, man. You know what I'm saying? We can't get weak. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, we, uh, uh, you can't be like, well, I've done all these things. The Lord ain't dealing with me. So I'm just going to slide back in the world. If you do that, the Lord most definitely ain't going to deal with you. You know? This is uh, second address. Chapter 16, I'm going to start at verse uh, uh, 75. It says, Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide and and uh, uh, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts. Save the Lord power. Let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities left, uh, lift up themselves. You know what I'm saying? So when you keep going, you know what I'm saying? Like King David said, he said his sins is... Uh, Forever before, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, what did he do? He kept going. He ain't quit. You know what I'm saying? He ain't slow down. You know, he kept moving. Even if he went through a spiritual low. The thing is, is that he kept going, though. You know what I'm saying? You know? Uh, uh, verse 77, it says, Woe be unto them that are bound with their sins. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're constantly thinking about your sins and stuff, you know what I'm saying? You're going to, uh, you know, uh, uh, no longer fight to push, you know what I'm saying? To to your 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 hope will start depleted, man. You know what I'm saying? And it says, and covered with their iniquities, like as a field is covered with bushes, and the path thereof covered with with thorns that no man may travel through. You know what I'm saying? So if you got to go through this path and you got these different obstacles and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Just, sometimes you got to still saw away at that branch, man, just so you can just keep going, man. You know what I'm saying? Knowing this is the only way to uh uh uh. Uh, to salvation with all these different obstacles and stuff and one might hit you in the face but you got to get back up you know what i'm saying and come up with a quick combo just to get past that obstacle man you know what i'm saying because if you quit you know what i'm saying won't to you man uh, uh uh that's destruction man you know uh like i said before you know king david he said that his sins was ever before him you know what i'm saying but but he ain't he wasn't bound with those things he, he knew that the lord was merciful long suffering man you know what i'm saying and that's the mindset that you got to have so you can keep going. And, and, and another thing, man, that it doesn't matter. See, when you learn this truth, man, it doesn't really matter about your sins no more. The Lord doesn't look at that no more, man. You go out there and teach his truth, man, and that's going to cover your sins, man. Because you're teaching all righteousness, man. You were are, you are doing unrighteousness. Now you've left that alone, and now you're, you're just completely teaching righteousness. And the Lord loves that, man. That's showing you that you're, that's showing him that you're trying to 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 push and keep those sins from burdening your mind, man. Mm -hmm. So you you're, you're going to go out there and push righteousness, man. All right, Yahweh Shai gave us his word because he 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 knew, all right, that's why it says he came to heal the sick. You know, sinners, man. People that didn't know uh well they knew right from wrong, but you know they couldn't help to do uh, uh unrighteousness, wicked stuff. Now that they know that 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 it was wrong, now they know that okay, I'm going to fight for righteousness now. When all I, when I wasn't doing nothing but you know doing dumb shit, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the right thing. I'm gonna fight for righteousness. I'm gonna do the Lord's work, like He said, man. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna be faithful, 
that he see that he covers my sins because of that, man. It's all about faith, man. I got one. This is um uh because the Lord came down and he 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 uh he died for us too, man. You know? So he said that it, it, since, since he died for the world for the world of the of the elect, all right? Since he died for us, that means that he died for our sins too. They were nailed to the cross. So then our job is to just go preach his word, man, and preach righteousness and try to keep these law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability, man. You know? God, and guide God, the ones that believe yeah. in the right direction. Yep. Con, this is uh, 1 John 3 and 1. It says, Behold, what manner of love that the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And here's the point. And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself, even as he is pure. All right, so when you go out and teach this word, man, all right, and you keep the faith that this is going to cover your sins like the Lord said it would, okay, if you do what he says, you're purifying yourself, man. All right, so if you do think about those sins, just do the work, man. That's why brothers say read, pray, watch videos, because that means you're doing the work, you're thinking about the work, you're purifying yourself. Because Satan's going to always try to attack you. So the Lord gave you a comforter on how to keep purifying yourself. When that dirt comes, you, still, you try to feel that, the, 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 uh, when you try to feel Satan sneak in or your, your, your sins try to condemn you, just purify yourself again. Because we are in a wicked, dark world, so you got to keep purifying yourself. You know, that's what the Lord said. I'm going to read it again. It says, um, Salaki, it says, it's 1 John 3 and 3. It says, and every man that hath this hope in him, in him purifieth himself even as he is pure. You know, so every time we, we, we do the work like we're doing a lesson now, we're purifying ourselves. Like, what does it say? When you water, you shall water yourself. Yeah, he that water is water himself as well. You, you know, know and that keeps this, that keeps your sins down. That keep, that's how the Lord taught us how to beat the uh, these uh, these wicked thoughts and all this, this these all demonic thoughts and Satan trying to mess with our mind. All right, that's how we do it with these scriptures because these scriptures are nothing but light. You know, and uh, you know, yeah, it, it, it's the light, man. You know what I'm saying, and. It's supposed to uh, 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 cleanse us from our wicked ways, man. You know, mm -hmm. this is um, this Hebrews chapter 11, because the brother was talking about hope. It's Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. It says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, man. You know what I'm saying? And what we hoping, you know what I'm saying? We hoping to have those uh, those white garments, like it says in um, uh, Revelation, the sixth chapter, man. You know what I'm saying? Or, or, or second Ezra, the second chapter, man, to be crowned, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the ones that's going to get crowned is the uh, uh, the ones that's going to be called uh, thy, thou faithful good servant, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're hoping for, to get saved out of, uh, 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 out, of, out of this wicked place, man. You know what I'm saying? But if you got something that's holding you down, man, guess what? You ain't going to have that hope no more, man. You know what I'm saying? You're going to start looking for things that you, uh, uh, that you can see, man. You know what I'm saying? You know? This is, um, I'm going to skip to verse 6. It says, uh, it says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, and usually when somebody don't have faith and stuff, it's because they got a heavy thought upon them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, a burden, you know, uh, uh, bringing them down was, was causing them to not be able to continue forward. And it says for for he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is meaning that he, uh, uh, that he exists, man. You know what I'm saying? And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So that that word diligently is a uh, haratata. You know what I'm saying? You got to continue to uh, 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 push, man. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, brothers always bring out the examples. If you want to, uh, you know, make it to the draft and be picked, so you can be one of the NBA superstars and stuff. Guess what? You you know you you fall, you skid your knee and stuff. This that and the other. You know what I'm saying? You can get boss basketball players who uh get uh knee injuries, man. You know what I'm saying? But yet they still what do they do? They work hard, you know, they go through the therapy and stuff, and they write back out there, man. That's somebody that's diligently uh uh seeking uh uh to continue in the in the thing that they have learned, man. And it's the same way with these scriptures, man. You know? If you if if your if your sins, if the things that brought you down and stuff, just know that, you know, uh, like it says in Isaiah. It says that our righteousness is filthy rags and stuff. But the thing is, is that we're going to still try to do the best best of our ability. You know what I'm saying? 
to uh, keep moving forward because we have a hope for being saved, man. We got a hope for for uh, for for something that's not seen right now, mm -hmm. but 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 that can be seen afar off, man. You know. That's right. This is um. This is Hebrews. This is Hebrews ten and twenty three. It says, "Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for He is faithful that promised." All right, and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. You know, Salaki, and then I'm gonna skip down to Salaki. That that was that was basically the point, man. To hold fast to our profession. All right, and our profession is to proclaim the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. In hopes of Him covering our sins, man, because He's faithful. He said that His sin, our sins, He would be. Uh, I think it said in First John, He will be faithful to forgive our sins. You know. So if we do his work, man, he's going to be for faithful to forgive our sins because we have realized that we sinned. We have realized that we were going off. All right. We have realized what we should be doing now and how we should be living. You know, yeah. and, and the Lord sees that, man. That's a sweet savor to the Lord, man. Us going out onto the highways and byways, making our bodies a living sacrifice. You know, that's all going to come into play when it comes down to you being judged. All right. You're going to be judged for your work. What are these people out here doing, man? They ain't doing nothing. They're doing they stacking sin on top of sin, like you, you said earlier, man. But what are the men of the Lord doing? Even though we all sin, which is right, but we're not continuing to sin and we're trying not to 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 premeditate sin. Like these people, do these people premeditate sin? Oh, I'm gonna go out and smoke blunts today. Oh, I'm gonna see whose woman I can sleep with. You know, mm -hmm. these people's mindset is to just think upon sin all the time. Our mindset is now that. Let's try. We're trying not to do sin to the best of our ability, man. You know, in a sinful world, you know, because all the because we you can't even keep the laws 100 percent in this place because the food, we, it has all unlawful kinds of mixture in it. You know, so it, it, it's like little ways that we are going off because it's the so-called white man Esau. But the Lord knows this, but he also knows and sees us trying to keep the law, statutes and commandments. All right. And that's going to and like you said, that's going to cover a whole bunch of sins. And that's going to uh, uh, Lord willing, that's going to get us salvation. God. You know, God, this uh, <clears throat> this uh, Sirocco, Ecclesiastes and Apocrypha, chapter two, I'm starting verse 12. It says, woe be to the fearful hearts and faith hands. You know what I'm saying? So if you if you fearful uh, of the sins that you had committed already and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Guess what? You're going to have faith hands. You ain't going to do, do the work as much, man. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to uh, continue to strive like you have been before. You know what I'm saying? Before that uh, that, 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 went, that burden of the sins that came upon you, you won't uh, worry as much to keep fighting for that crown, man. You know what I'm saying? And it says, in the center that go two ways, woe unto him that is faint hearted. You know what I'm saying? Because now you ain't going to necessarily believe that the Lord is going to help you. It says, for he believeth not, therefore shall uh, he not be defended. You know what I'm saying? So now the Lord ain't gonna defend you because it's like you don't believe. Cause you gotta think about it. You gotta uh you you have faith. You got some that have faith, you know what I'm saying, in, in, in um uh 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 that the Lord is gonna uh do things for them, and you got some that don't have faith. Now you gotta think about the ones who believe uh cold heartedly that the Lord won't do these things for them. You know what I'm saying? You know? And that's what uh, 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 that, that's what happens to somebody that's with, that got faint hands and that's faint hearted, man. You know what I'm saying? If faith start to uh, dwindle, the belief in Yahweh by Shun Yahshua starts to dwindle, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, verse 14, it says, Warn to you that have lost patience. You know, when you lose patience, it's like, ah, he ain't going to help me. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is going to put you through trials. You know what I'm saying? The better you, man. You know what I'm saying? But if you feel like the Lord ain't going to help you, you know, this is what's going to happen. It says, and what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? You know what I'm saying? Like that, uh, the, the one with the talent, man. He knew that Yahweh Shai was an austere man, but he ain't build, man. You know what I'm saying? He ain't keep going. He ain't, he ain't keep fighting, man. You know what I'm saying? And ones that lost patience, who are faint-hearted with faint hands and fearful hearts, you know what I'm saying? Those are ones that lose patience, man. You know, and they fall back into the world and, long, and the Lord comes back and it's like, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Where my money at? And you know? he's gonna judge you off those sins you did. Exactly. Because you ain't doing nothing, you didn't do nothing but fall back to those sins, man. The Lord wants to, what does it say? He wants to find faith when he comes here, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so if you fall back into those sins, man, that means you never, you didn't have the faith, man. You didn't keep you didn't hold fast to your profession. 
You didn't continue to do the things that were necessary to blot your sins out, man. Which is teach this word and, and, and follow the law, statutes, and commandments and pray to y'all about Shemi al Shai, man. Which is, which is the duty of man anyway. Okay. So that means you don't want to be a real man. You know? If you think about it, man, you don't want to be a real man. You want to just you want to just do what you want to do. You want to do the things of the world. You want to do the things that the children, the sons of men do. Because they're not real men. They're children. It says children shall rule over us. These people that rule over us and push all this wickedness are children, man, mentally. Yeah. You know? That's why the Lord says it's, it's, it's the duty of man to, to follow the law, statutes, and commandments and to worship Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. You know? God. is uh... This James 1 and 12, it says, blessed is a man that endure temptation. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. when, when them sins come upon you, you know, when they uh, uh, Satan is throwing, it's like, yeah, you did this, you did that. Yeah, the Lord ain't going to help you. He ain't going to forgive you. You know what I'm saying? You might as well just do what you was doing. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you blessed if you endure that temptation, man, because all that is is Satan trying to tempt you to go back into the world so you can be destroyed. You know what I'm saying? So you could throw in the towel, man. You know what I'm saying? When, when, it was, when it's a chance for you to win. It says, for when he is tried, he shall receive a crown of life, which the Lord have promised to them that love him. And that's part of uh, that's that's being part of the elect, man. Hey, the scripture says he that endure to the end, the same shall be saved, man. You know what I'm saying? And one of the things that's going to come for a temptation is your sins wearing you down, man. You know, Sorry. it says. Uh, all right. And that, that's pretty much the point right there. And uh, I'm going to skip the. I'm going to skip to verse 14. It says, but every man is tempted. Actually, I'll start at 13. It says, let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of the most high. For the most high cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempted he any man. You know what I'm saying? You know, verse 14, it says, but every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed, man. You know what I'm saying? Enticed to be persuaded, man. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, uh, uh. If, if you got Satan that's persuading you because he casting them fiery darts and your armor ain't up and they piercing, they hidden, you know what I'm saying? You're going to fall back into the world, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, meaning that you're not enduring these temptations, man, that you're being drawn away. You know what I'm saying? Drawn away back into uh back into that uh that manner, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know, you got something? And uh, you know, we hope this video was edifying and I'd like to give we'd like to give our honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, the bonds to Apostles Great Millstone, and salutations to your leg, which we hope to be. Shalom. Shalom. And continue to push, man. That's the whole object of this 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 rundown the Lord has given us, man. It's only to better us. That's why it says we should be purified, man. You know? Above, and, that, it's like, and that purification is 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 being tempted of all these things of the world, man, so that the Lord can find us faithful, and the fact that we rejected Him and chose rather to follow Him, man. And and yeah, it's just just continue fighting like the brother said, man. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, you know we we come into harder times, and all it's gonna do is get harder, you know. So just keep on pushing, keep on fighting, and hope.